Yokohama, 1898. Previously timeless, mysterious, and isolated, Japan is beginning to transform itself. Since the end of the Tokugawa shogunate and the restoration of the power of the Emperor Meiji in 1868, Japan has become a place of commercial and cultural fascination for the West. But it has also been flexing its own muscles on mainland Asia. Japan had waged war against China in 1894 in dispute over the control of Korea. Japan's imperial forces overwhelmed those of the Chinese emperor, who sued for peace. In the Treaty of Shimonoseki, signed in April 1895, China had recognized the total independence of Korea and ceded Taiwan to Japan in perpetuity. Port Arthur, Siberia, December 1904. Troops from Japan's Third Army under General Maresuke Nugi are preparing for the final assault on the Russian Imperial garrison. The Russians have held out for five months. Losses on both sides have been huge. Japan sends 16,000 reinforcements and heavy artillery. Japanese sappers start to dig into the hillsides to plant huge explosives. The hills around Port Arthur fall one by one, leading the Japanese to celebrate an historic breakthrough. The Russian Pacific Fleet in harbor is now vulnerable to artillery attack. Nogi deploys his 11-inch Krupp howitzers, capable of hurling 500-pound shells over 15 miles. The Russian commander, General Stosel, surrenders, giving Japan a remarkable victory. Stosel is escorted into captivity on his white horse, along with 25,000 of his men.
The Russian prisoners are treated with kindness and dignity. Mainogi and his men. Nogi then marches his army to Makden, where they inflict another crushing defeat on the Russians. Later in the same year, the Tsar's Baltic fleet arrives in the Straits of Tsushima. It has sailed 18,000 nautical miles to reach the Far East, where it confronts the might of the Japanese Navy under Admiral Togo. Japanese Imperial Navy inflicts a crushing defeat on the Tsar's fleet, sinking 21 of the Russians' 28 ships and seven of its eight battleships. Togo returns to Tokyo as the conquering hero. He is greeted by Emperor Meiji at the Imperial Palace. Then the two heroes of the war against Russia are united. Admiral of the fleet, Hiachiro Togo, and General of the Army, Marusuke Nogi. Journalist Saburo Katsura describes the scenes in Tokyo. The whole city turned out to celebrate. A major Western power has been brought to its knees. We were proud to be Japanese.